they pay you some money every single month for you to take care of your baby. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be informed each time I upload a new video. If you are an old subscriber, thanks for always coming back. On today's video, I'm going to be telling you what you should know before traveling to France. So make sure you stay tuned to the end so you don't miss out on any tip. The first thing you should know before traveling to France is the language. Most French people are not good in any other language. You know what they say? English language is a universal language. You go to any country, you speak English, people listen. Mm -mm, that doesn't work in France. Before you come to France, make sure you learn to speak French or even the basics so you can communicate. You might not be lucky to stumble on that one person that can speak English. So, be warned. The second thing you should know before coming to France is the food. Their food is actually very different from us. When I came to France, it took me like a few months to actually taste African food because where I live, we don't live in Paris, like France is not all Paris, going people talk to me about France, it's always like I live in Paris, I don't live in Paris, except you live in Paris that you can have opportunities of having African food, in France it's difficult to have African food, especially when you live in other regions, where I stay, you don't even find African food, as a matter of fact, we have somebody, this African man that comes once a month to sell African food, after the feed of every month, if you miss it, you wait to the next month. So, when you're coming, bring your food, bring enough that can sustain you for some time. The third thing you should know before traveling to France is the transportation. It's not like in Cameroon where you want to go somewhere, you'll be like, ah, taxi, sans francs. No, you don't have that here. Here you take buses, and in some places you don't even have buses. If you don't know how to drive, you are bound to stay at home. We have this conception that abroad of France is just like... Um, abroad not only france europe america as a whole we just have the impression that everything is well established life is easy everything is deep no don't be fooled guys you can't take a taxi like in other countries that or in cameroon you want to go anywhere you can just pay a taxi and go or a bike yeah it's not the case taxis here are extremely expensive the first thing you should know before coming here is french way of doing things i don't want to like use this word but i would say self-centeredness that's the best way i can put it french people don't mind your business they don't mind your business when i was coming i had two huge boxes you no know? we are coming from africa we have food we have all kind of things i carried huge boxes two huge boxes i had a hand luggage and my handbag at the same time so when i arrived i was supposed to have a direct flight but when you want to reach the goal I had to take a correspondent flight. I struggled. I suffered. And no one was there to be like, Oh, madam, excuse me, what was day? No. Everyone would just see you on pass. Excuse me, madam, you just, he just passes. Excuse me, madam, you just passes. And you are there struggling. Carry your luggage is up and down. Struggling. Guys, carry what you know you can carry. Don't come and suffer like me. I'm just telling you. You better be warned because nobody will give you assistance. Nobody. They will pass and act like nobody is seeing you. So make sure you keep that in mind when coming. The fifth thing you know before coming here is high bills. Everything here is expensive. Every single thing is expensive. When I start thinking of the fact that where I was in Cameroon, when they give you a monthly bill of 5,000 francs, people are screaming. No, c'est trop, c'est trop cher. Comment tu me donnes 5000 francs? C'est bon, non, je n'ai rien chez moi et tout. What? Here in France, everything is expensive. If you have to know the amount of money you pay just for bills, bills, you have your car bills, electricity bills, you have water bills, you have your house, everything, your car insurance, and all of that, it is extremely expensive. Mm. Number six, sizes of houses. My God, in Europe, the sizes of houses are pretty small. I'm not saying small, small, small. No, but it's not what I expected. You know, in films, they show us big houses, huge mansions and all whatnot. Mm -mm. The average person here doesn't live in such houses. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I even think that the, the sizes of houses in Cameroon are actually bigger than the ones here. 
I don't know if I'm the one seeing it that way, but that's what I think. That's what I think. I wasn't just expecting to see houses that small. They are beautiful houses, but they are small in sizes. That's what I'm trying to say. The seven things you should know before traveling to France is pregnancy. In France, if you're pregnant, it's very normal for someone to ask to the sex of the baby you're carrying or touch your or touch your belly. Whereas in Africa, it's a taboo. Like you can't walk up to a pregnant woman and you touch her stomach, or even ask if she's carrying a boy or a girl. Here in Europe, it is very normal. They ask the sex of the baby, they touch my my belly, they like caress it. You do that in Africa, they'll call you a witch. A witch. The oh, so you want to kill my baby? Oh, huh? what are you trying to do? Huh? Yeah, it's normal. So if you come here and you're pregnant. Or maybe at the airport, you have a long belly and somebody touches your baby, the person asks you the sex you are carrying. No, it is normal. The eighth thing you should know is about midwives. Oh my god. When I was in Cameroon and a pregnant woman wants to give birth, when she goes to the hospital, the way she's treated at the hospital. Oh my god. You have women to, to be brutalizing the woman. They'll be talking bad, harshly. I even I watched a scene that midwife actually beat up a pregnant woman. Ah, over the PAC, over. So much, so, can't you feel this? I used to have it to her. They will tell you all kind of things. Like, open your legs when you were doing with your husband. Was I there with you? And when you were there, enjoy yourself. Was I there with you? Open your legs and take out this baby. They'll be, they'll be harsh to you. Here in France, midwives are as, as soft as what you can't even think of. Oh my god. Like they make you want to give birth like every year. When you are giving birth, the way they treat you, the way they pamper you. Oh my goodness. I'm like, maybe in Cameroon we need that. You can also use your midwife as a gynecologist. They are well trained for that. The healthcare services in France is something you can't even think about. Like it is the best. But in other countries, I don't want to call names if you don't have insurance or if you don't have health insurance my dear my sister look for where to go and treat yourself because you won't be welcome in any healthcare center the tenth thing you should know is the climate my god i was told to dress warm i don't know how cold it was like i arrived here with just my leggings my top and something like a was it a cardigan cardigan I don't know. Yeah, it was something warm if I can remember well. When I arrived at the airport, the cold that touched me. I couldn't wait to meet my husband to take his suit. When I met my husband, he came to see me at the airport. I don't know if he asked him to even give me his, his jacket. He was he just rolled the jacket and put on me because he knew that I was going through something. The seventh point is the shopping and the payment method. I take all the examples from my country, which is Cameroon. Don't come here and ask me why are always gonna buy Cameroon Cameroon. In Cameroon when you go to the market you get something you are free to debate the prices they can price you something for like let me let's say five thousand francs i can end up buying that thing for three thousand or three thousand five hundred here in france what you pick what you see it is what you get but here it is encouraged to always pay with credit cards because it's a limited amount of money you are supposed to keep in your home it's not like in Cameroon where people keep millions of CFAs in their homes. There is no insurance covering you if you keep a certain amount of money in your home. And that brings to the next point which, which is prices. Almost everything is expensive. Don't be fooled guys. Don't be fooled by people. Don't be fooled by those who come and sell you dreams that abroad is milk and honey. Everything is good here. Everything is cheap here. It's a lie. If you want quality dresses here, shishi. If you want quality jewelry, Shishi. If I come to Africa, I will likely buy my jewelry from there because I know I'll be able to get good quality jewelry at a reasonable price that I mean I can keep it for more than 10 years. 150,000 francs to buy a gold ring that you can keep it almost the rest of your life. If you buy that here, if you spend 150 euros to buy a gold ring here, you'll be sorry for yourself. In less than six months, you'll become as dark, you'll be rusted. You won't be able to manage it, trust me. You make sure you get your jewelry in Cameroon. The 12th thing you should know before coming to France is government aid. You should know that when you come to France, if you give birth, there's a certain amount of money that the government gives you to assist 
for the basic necessities of your children or your baby. They pay you some money every single month for you to take care of your baby. Not many countries do that. In France, it is being done and everybody has the right to get that. So once you have a baby in France, you will be receiving a certain amount of money to help provide for the basic necessities of the children. As a matter of fact, they're making a way that everybody is comfortable enough to live comfortably. The fourteenth point you should know before coming to France is single-sex relationships or marriages. We are coming here. If you're an African, you are not used to seeing things like that in public. Be ready to meet it here. You really got to be shocked because it will practice in front of your eyes. Right now, I have absolutely no problem with it. Like I'm used to it. I see it everywhere, and it's just normal to me. It's just the normal to me. In their lives, I don't judge them, their choices. That's just it. Is. That's just what it is. You can't change it. That's it. So I accept it, but keep that in mind. You might find out, you might see that in the airport. It's just a way of them showing their own love, you know. They'll be kissing in front of you. They'll be doing that thing in front of you, and it's just the normal. But you coming from Africa or from Cameroon might be somehow shocking to you because you are not used to that. The last but not the least point. Kissing, hugs and kisses. Meet a friend who has our friends will be like, ah, for my copin, Zipora, the next one will be like, ah. it's normal, it's our own way of greeting, of all getting familiar to you. It's just like that. So guys, that's all what I have for you today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Bye.